Hi, this is iPhoneHelp.in with another video review. This time it's Flipboard. Flipboard is a new way to look at news. It brings in your friends' stories that they like and that they share into one application. And it also has uh, other news sources that they choose are great. And one good thing about Flipboard is it, it displays everything, not in a text or like a list of text, but in pictures, and it's very graphical, it's very fun to use. So let's go right into it. This one, I'm going to set up, you can set up different sections of things you're interested in. So I'll go ahead and set up Flip News. I'll set up Let's see. I like I'm interested in music. We can set up flip music. So I have you can integrate Facebook, your Twitter friends. I have flip tech in here. I'm interested in tech, tech influences. I set up flip news and flip music. If you open up Twitter, all your friends that you follow will now be anything they share will now be in here. You can flip through the different stories. Uh say that you want to look at this one. Say that, let's see, you can you can scroll through. This these are all the different uh people that retweeted it. If you want to view it more in more detail, you can click on the link. It'll open up in the web browser. And you can view it just like you could on the website. Get out of this. Keep on flipping through stories. Different tweets that come in, stories or pictures come in. You can read it on the website. Watch videos right within the right within the uh, app. You can go back. Let's look at uh, their choices for flip tech. At the very first page, it shows the different people that contribute the most. You can actually. Click on that, follow them on Twitter, or view their profile. It's a very graphical way to look at news for the day. These are all the different tech news. So we can look on at, look at any, any story. You can like it, or you can actually share it by email or retweet. All different types of news sources. If you, if you added a Facebook account, you can look at all your friends' pictures, status updates, Things like that. It's a great way to look at news. You can scroll down at the bottom and see the different headlines for that section. It, it's sorted by day and by it's sorted by time. So we can go to that. Sort through the different stories. Click on one we want to look at read a little blurb of it or we can read it on the web go to the website it's a quick it's a very quick news reader it does not integrate google news a uh, google reader which is one thing that i don't like about it i wish it would bring in my rss feeds but i think they're just trying to change the way that the news works by using social integration so like i said when you find a story that you want you can that you want to share with somebody else, you can like it on Facebook or you can uh, retweet it on Twitter or email it. And then on the front page, you can always add, you can edit your sections, change, move them around, delete them. You can add sections, add different news sections. And then on the front page, it gives you whatever you chose to be the sections that you want to follow. You can scroll through the different. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty nice news reader. I I don't like how it doesn't do Google Reader, which is what I use mainly. Um, I might find myself using this a little bit, just to, if I don't feel like going to look at all my feeds and go through all the news for the day. You can just get a quick synopsis or a quick look at what is the newest news for that day and
and you can look through the different stories. So that's it. This was Flipboard on the iPad, iPhonehelp.an. Thanks for watching.